the COVID-19 pandemic has led to a shortage of personal protection equipment or PPE in the country. Health Director General Datuk Dr Nur Hisham Abdullah warned that the current supply would only last for two weeks. During this crucial time, local fashion designers have been among those putting their sewing skills to good use. President of Malaysian Official Designer Association, Moda Melinda Loy, rallied those in the industry to help out. Someone tagged me on in social media. So I felt really bad, you know, I was like, oh my god, this is not possible because this is our kind of work and not them. Melinda got in touch with entrepreneur Liana Zainal, who's been donating protective gear to health workers to get the contacts of PPE supplies. And Liana you know, told me that, yes, they have tons of material in the hospitals, they just need someone to help them. So then they say, HKL can issue a letter for MODA and you guys can, you know, start your work. So that's how we started. Then when I posted the videos asking for help, we need home sewers, we need home-based seamstresses to help us to sew. Kunhui was the first one who called me, Mel, how can I help, you know, how much is the roll of material, we can buy more. I can buy and then I can also help you to sew and cut. Then continue, it was Alia Pasterman and you know, Inai Red called me and then you know, uh, they got connected with other designers as well. Everybody was like really putting their heart into this and, uh, and it became boom. Moda also received help from Fashion Valley founder Datin Vivi Yusuf who raised around 300,000 ringgit to buy PPE materials. Every day, one big hospital easily throw away a few thousand pieces. The consumption is so high that even though government is preparing a lot, but it still may not be enough. In the first week, we produced 4,500 pieces. Uh, we sent to different hospitals, I, mainly to HKL. And because HKL is the main hospital where they can also distribute to other hospitals. So the second week now, probably we have already doubled the numbers. We aim to produce a hundred over thousand pieces uh, by end of this month, hopefully. To date, Moda has around 60 designers and home sewers. Designer Ki Eng's factory makes PPE gowns as well as safety jumpsuits for frontliners. Like this one is a waterproof. Uh, so waterproof is more safe. So I'm doing the gown and the head and the uh, kasut and I do the jumpsuit as well. But this jumpsuit is more waterproof, more safety, like, like this. Uh, yeah, for the doctor. Start, I not much people to do because first thing I need to make sure my staff safe and clean. I have two cutter to doing. Then I cut, cut. I have to cut as well. Uh, one day uh, I can cut few hundred to few thousand pieces. Then and sewing and one day I can uh, uh, sewing around like uh, three to five hundred pieces. Fashion label in Iret was approached by Selayang Hospital for their service. My, so what I do is I get them to work by rotation. The first batch that we receive from Moda, uh, we managed to get it done within slightly short than three days. So and that was also successfully delivered to HKL. And then the second uh, batch was uh, came from Hospital Selayang from the ICU department. They themselves delivered the goods to us. So Hospital Selayang sent me four big rolls. So that could produce actually about 400 full set years. Mimpi Kita founder Nurul Zulkifli encouraged her team of young workers to seize the opportunity to serve their country. I feel uh, very honoured and very humbled to actually, you can, you know, actually contribute to, to the nation. One, uh, one day around, I say, 100 to 150 pieces only because mostly my, my team consists of like very young people. So we, we can't really like jahit uh, too quite fast. So I will deliver whatever that we can finish, maybe 300 or 400 for two or three days. And then uh, we will ask uh, Melinda if, we, if uh, they have more materials. Of course, we want to help but for as long as we can. Um, I myself, with Raya coming, this is the only time that you know we can usually make extra to cover for the losses that we make. It's a challenge, but um, I take it positively. Uh, positively. Um, I prepare for the worst, but also hope for the best. Uh, like work extra, extra hard, 
to actually sustain. This is not the time to make money extra, but just to sustain and just to like uh, do our responsibility to actually give to our staff. The designers hope that once the COVID-19 pandemic is over, Malaysians will continue supporting local brands to help boost the economy. After this pandemic and everything has things have slowed down and we are going to grow back economically and um, getting ourselves uh, better in physically and mentally, I also think that they will be supporting a lot more local brands, lo not just designers, but local brands in general better. Oh.